chat of people. I got a notification that I have a software update and it's the 2024.20.6.2. So I'm downloading it actually. I'm at the supercharger charging. So uh, let's see if it finds, yeah, it finds my uh, access point. And let's go back to software. Yeah, it's downloading, eh? okay. I have uh, my access point to my phone in here and while I'm charging, so it should be okay. And then when uh, I downloaded the entire package, we'll do the uh, time, slap, uh, time slap of the installation. It will be two seconds for you, probably around half an hour for me. And then we'll check it out to the uh, release notes and what new features uh, there are. I mean, most likely there are a bunch of bug fixes, some most likely undocumented uh, um, uh, features, and there is auto park. So I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back home, uh, the download is done. Let's check it out. Yep, and it can start. Let me see in software. Yeah, okay. So let's start it from the app uh, this time. So I'll, I'll push on notification. Software download 2024.20.6.2. I push this and say install yes and it will start the countdown to speed it up you just tap it here it goes to zero and installation started so i'll start the time lapse two seconds for you and it will be done it will be done and then we'll get uh, to the uh, changes so the download and install is done uh, so this uh, the release notes it says minor fixes it says minor fixes uh, but in reality um, the car has a, um, auto park but it's not enabled of course because I don't have uh, enhanced autopilot okay and of course I don't have FSD because it's not available here in Europe okay so um these are the major changes let me check if um, not tesla app uh, has information on this uh on this uh release note uh let me check except uh, all okay whatever not yet okay so update the 2024.20.6.2 auto park is available in italy too you need an uh, autopilot and or FSD. FSD is now available in Europe. So your vehicle can now automatically park and parallel park. Um, so basically the car can park only perpendicular, okay? So parallel parking or a park uh, that is perpendicular to, to the car. You cannot park in, uh, um, here we call it fish spine. You know, uh, when you drive at low speed, you display highlights, potential parking spaces. Auto park show you a circular P symbol to suggest the space, but you can choose a highlight space. Okay, to start parking, stop the vehicle, press the start, the release uh, steering wheel, so you can. Uh, Uh, and as with all autopilot feature, you must continue to pay attention to be ready to take a, uh, immediate action, including canceling auto park. So, and the other one, the other changes were included in the previous uh, uh, software releases. So they're not. Uh, uh, yeah, they're not, not mentioning for now. Okay, so auto park is included but uh, uh, I don't have an uh, autopilot, so I cannot test it. If you have an autopilot, you, you will have auto park and you can test it. I saw already a few videos here in Europe, in Italy too, and uh, it works really, really well. Uh, it has some problems with uh, uh, some parking spots. Uh, I saw a video from uh, um, Fabrizio, uh, a lampy Tesla here in Italy 
It was doing uh, uh, several tests, which are very interesting. So uh, basically, it, it parks uh, uh, correctly in parallel parking. It actually parks uh, even if there are no lines on the ground, but I notice uh, that it does that if there are a lot of space in the parallel parking. We need, we need to test more uh, this kind of scenarios. Uh, and then one, one time uh, it tried to park, but the car, in, the car in front, so it was trying to park uh, in parallel parking. Uh, there was a car behind and a car in front, okay? Uh, but the car in front uh, was on top of the line, perpendicular line, so uh, it didn't, it didn't uh, park, it cancelled the parking. I asked Fabrizio if it was that the reason, he, he says uh, no, but I don't know. Uh, and then the other parking, like perpendicular with the, all the cars parallel like this, is really good. Uh, it actually is too good in the sense that he wants to park always in between the lines, uh, leaving space, uh, little space between the right or left uh, uh, lines that are on the ground, uh, which means if, if the car on beside you is parked uh, wrongly, like uh, it occupies, it's very close to the line, the car actually parks really close. It doesn't, like we as human, I would leave a bit of our space, even if I have to, uh, park with my wheels on on parts of the other spot, but the auto pilot uh, auto park actually it does uh, it doesn't leave space between the cars in those kind of, of scenarios. Anyway, it's a very interesting. Uh, hopefully, what I like I would like to for Tesla is to release it as a feature that you can buy it. For example, there is an acceleration boost for real wheel drive or uh, all wheel drive that you can purchase. I'm not sure how much was it, $1,000, 1,000 euros, I, I don't remember. Uh, maybe they can release Auto Park as a feature that you can buy for, I don't know, 400, 500 bucks, 300 bucks, something like that. That would be interesting to buy it then. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and please, Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it will help me a lot. A lot of uh, viewers are not subscribed. Turn on the notification if you're ready to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao Tesla people.